Welcome to Incom Solutions. Jake here. We're going to talk about alternatives to Mestastic. With the popularity of Mestastic and other mesh radios using the lower protocol growing by the day, now add in the low cost to get into to this hobby with capabilities that were previously reserved for government agencies and other entities that have large budgets and frequency allocations that us lonely private you know citizens don't have access to you can see why this is grown so fast and continues to grow nonetheless with projects like this you tend to have growing pains add in open source and you get some frustrated users with their experiences you know so today we're going to explore <coughs> a few pros and cons of some of the alternatives to Mestastic. First in the shoot is going to be reticulum versus Mestastic. I'm going to keep this fairly brief for one reason that I'll tell you at the end. So in relative terms, Mestastic has got a very simple design. You know, it uses the LoRa protocol. Uh, it can be considered non-technical compared to reticulum, uh, which uses more advanced multi-protocols network stacking that requires much more technical knowledge to be able to configure and deploy effectively this is one of the reasons i've avoided testing it out as of yet it's pretty far on my back burner i've got lots of other projects that i'm working on i'm still mastering mestastic and with some of these other ones we're going to talk about or one of the other ones we're going to talk about here in a minute I'll probably those have moved up in my list of things to try out. So some of the basics behind, you know, the routing and security versus the two is Mestastic primarily uses flood routing, which means the messages are broadcast across all nodes. This can become a real big problem in congested areas where there's a lot of people using these type of devices where you may send a message that went through five minutes ago to a, another a friend or another team member or family member or whoever it is and now all of a sudden the messages are not going through these problems have been noted for quite some time now with that flood routing and i know mestastic has worked to try to refine that more but some of those issues still remain uh, reticulum on the in contrast uses a uh, cryptographic routing direct addressing providing better security and more efficiency in these structured communications so my final note on reticulum is if you're really into learning new capabilities that maybe you don't already know you can probably add in that the plus another plus side to reticulum is it uses multiple protocols so it's not just limited to to LoRa, which means you can really stack your possibilities of being able to communicate in a much larger scale and to people much further away so if you're interested in the reticulum project i will link that down below someday i will get to around to probably giving it a try so what's really next for everything let's jump into the one that everyone's probably talking about mesh core versus mestastic if you're not familiar with andy here on youtube i'll link his video about it here he has several now but he's located in the uk and this project was was born there out of probably necessity they have lots of mestastic users if you look at any mesh maps of especially like southern england and stuff like that there is hundreds and thousands well not hundreds of thousands but hundreds to thousands of nodes it seems like running there in those areas and they've experienced a lot of the problems that Mestastic has with the routing, that flood routing issue we talked about earlier. So MeshCore went out to design and optimize the routing. They've used some different method, methods there, compressing the data to even smaller packets and optimizing how it routes. And you, you use basically, so you got your, your regular device and then you have a repeater device. And uh, it needs that repeater device from my understanding to be able to communicate now if you have one within range of your home uh, you can use that device you can be the administrator on that device if it's yours or someone's giving you a, excuse me access to it and 
um, from all reports from Andy that's using it there, they're very happy with it. Currently, they do only uh, offer the application on Android devices. They're working on Apple devices. And then they do have an online flasher that covers majority of the popular devices. So if you have like a Luligo, a rack or a, you know, a hell tag, some of the, the biggest ones out there, you're covered. Now outside of that, um, you know, they probably will be adding some more in the future. It is still in its infancy. So if you are already a Mestastic user and you're frustrated with your experience, maybe look at MeshCore. I, it is next on my list of actual firmwares to give a shot because I've done enough with Mestastic. Am I leaving Mestastic? Probably not, maybe, I don't know. We'll see when I give it a try. And of course, I'll be doing videos on that as I give it a shot. But the plus side is you don't need different hardware. You can just try it out, download it, start using it, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you can roll right back to Mestastic and keep on going. So there's no real, uh, you know, barriers there and it. The learning curve seems pretty simple. It seems very simple interfaces between what you're used to with a Mestastic device. So, or a device with Mestastic firmware installed. So what is the future? Well, the future here is, is, you know, I don't know. There's a lot going on. You have, Hyper Mesh coming out from Spec 5. I talked about that in my last video. I'll be getting access to that as soon as there's a version available for, for testing uh, before the general public gets access to it. Uh, so I'll be doing some testing on that and videos on that for you guys. Final thoughts here. Like I said, it really, Mestastic is, is growing and it's going through typical growing pains. Uh, and yes, you're going to have user issues. I help people solve user issues, user experience issues all the time here on this channel, on my Telegram group and Instagram and other you know, social media platforms. Just understand when you jump into Mestastic, it's not, you know, it's, it's not your Samsung phone that you bought and then pretty much everything works correctly. Even those devices, you know, why do you think they send out updates occasionally? They're fixing bugs. It's the nature of the game. Uh, you know, when you get in an open source project, you have to deal with the fact that you've got basically volunteers working to create these, you know, products for us or these uh, software firmware for us to use uh, with usually no monetary value or gain from that project. So, and then also in the future, you've got the potential of the Mestastic Solution projects creating a more, a stable version of the firmware that has, you know, way less bugs. We'll see where that goes. So your guess is as good as mine and where this goes. It's changed a lot in the last two, two plus years that I've been in this space. So thanks for watching. If you appreciated what we're doing here, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out our website, social media links down below. And stay tuned for more emergency communications solution videos. Thanks for watching.